Welcome to my second tutorial in this series of uh, tutorials for the Match 3 framework. In this tutorial I'm going to import some more textures from my game pieces and create a system to keep track of uh, the match pieces that get destroyed. Now I've already uploaded or imported a texture from my background and this is designed for mobile so the resolution is a bit low and I've also moved the game grid or the camera and the widget and also offsetted the background and to do all of that I simply adjusted um, the variables that are exposed here such as the uh, camera offset the background offset and also the scale because I had a 1 to 2 ratio so I had to reflect that on my scale so 20 and 10 um, the uh, widgets offset also whoops I just wanted to move you thank you um, I've also went inside the score and widget and I moved everything down now to do this you select um, basically everything except the child of the score progress and restart which is progress score and restart and obviously not the canvas panel and then you can just use the translation inside of the transform to move that around so let's add 200 it was over here before or maybe I think it was like this anyway so I moved it down because I want to create the new um, images over here on the right um, so we're gonna start by importing the new textures um, I've also reorganized the folder folders or creating new folders and um, move certain stuff in there um, when you do that make sure to right click your parent folder and fix up redirections uh, redirectors in folder so to delete that way you can delete unnecessary redirectors okay so we're gonna go in texture and import my my game pieces so we're gonna have this one this one this one and this one and we're gonna create materials from them oh actually I need to create a new one called game pieces okay and then move save okay now the first thing we need to do is using the property matrix I'm gonna set them all to um, masked Let's save this this is also useful if you want to, let's say you select all the textures, go in the property matrix, and you can choose your um, MIP, MIP map, MIP maps, MIP maps <laughs> settings and uh, the texture groups. So maybe we'd want to use 2D pixels or anything like that. You can do that in one go. Alright, so now our materials, we just have to make sure that they're set to emissive. So, emissive, and also plug the opacity mask. Alright, so I'll do that for all of them. Probably um, speed this up a little bit. Fast forward. Okay, so I've adjusted a few things and. Uh, this is going to do for now for my uh, game pieces so now what we want is to add an image of each of these five game pieces over here and have a um, a text that tracks the uh, the number that we've destroyed so the first thing that we're going to do for that is add the images in the text component uh, to our widget so we're going to go inside of the widget in the blueprint score um, whoops, score hand score end and we're gonna add some I don't know where they're disappearing like that what did I do 
I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so we need some image. We're going to need five. And we'll say the size, maybe a hundred by a hundred. text okay so now we need to bind those text blocks so that they can get updated um, so we're just going to create a bind we're going to bind the text create binding and uh, rename get type one text alright and we're gonna do that for all of them Okay, now we've got all our bindings, we've got to give them a variable to uh, for the return value. And to do this, we're just going to create five integers. You could probably do it with a, an array, but I think it's going to be more straightforward with just uh, five simple separate variables, I mean. So, integer and type one. Okay, so get type 5 is type E, and we're simply going to give it this. Okay, so our widget is basically set up. Now we have to we have to fill these variables because right now they're all set to zero uh, so we have to pass certain variables to them um, another thing to do because right now we're not going to see all the stuff that I've just I've just created okay and the reason for that is the draw size of the of the widget right now the way that it's set up and um, okay first of all in order to see your widget you've got to set it to world and then boom it's there but you have to remember to set it back to screen otherwise when you play if you if this is set to world it's gonna crash and sometimes it's you know why am I crashing and you know th this is a really it's a guaranteed crash okay so now the rest of our widget component is somewhere over there so we, we have to increase the draw size so we'll try double 1000 is not enough. And then we're starting to get some stuff. So we'll say 2000. And the bigger you go, the closer they're going to appear. So maybe this. Like I said, I want to have some space because maybe I'm going to add some more buttons. So I'm probably going to stick to 2000. It gives me a little bit of room, a little bit of padding. And. Um, Let's see how that looks. Well, I'm missing an entire one, so maybe my um, my icons are too big or there's too much padding between them. This is some, uh, something that I'm definitely going to look into and probably tweak, but for now we're just going to push it further. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so for now, for our purposes, we're gonna go with this. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm probably gonna adjust this, adjust it later on to be 
smaller on the screen or closer together. Anyway, so now we have these numbers and we want to be able to say, well, when I get three eyes, six eyes, I want this to be reflected on my UMG over here, right? Um, so the way to do this, we're going to look at the game slot, okay? And I'm going to try to think about this from the perspective of someone that doesn't know how the system works, right? So my train of thought, if I wanted to do something like this, I'm going to think, well, okay, I want to update these numbers, but I want this to happen when I create a match. So our first clue or is to know that this is going to happen during the time that we destroy our match, most likely, because we know that when we destroy our match or our match disappears, these are the ones that we want to keep track of. Um, so we're going to open up the game slot, and we're going to try to find somewhere that kind of tells us okay this is where that the game piece gets destroyed and whatnot uh, it's pretty big so what I'm gonna do is just get out and have more so everything is really well um, separated and within their own kind of specific sections okay so if we just spend a little bit of time looking around uh, we can already see game piece get destroyed so this is basically what we were looking for right we want to know that when the game piece gets destroyed in this case it gets shrunk we want to tell the widget oh okay well I'm this type of game piece so I'm gonna give you this information and you're gonna update right so just from knowing this we're gonna be able to do something Personally, the way that I'm going to do it is by creating a brand new macros. I don't need any new variables here. I want to pass variables. I know there's going to be branches because if it's type 1, if it's type 2, or if it's type 3, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm going to get create a new macros and I'm going to call it send game piece type to widget. Okay. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Now we need a new input of the exec type. We'll call it enter. And um, I think that's basically it. Okay. We know we want this unique type. We want to pass it to our our widget. How are we going to pass it to the widget? This is pretty easy. Open up your palette. Uh, you can find it inside of window palette. And well, actually, that's not right because this is a personal thing. All right. Well, you're you're gonna find get all actors of class, get all actors of class, and you're gonna look for the main or the M3 main game. M3 main game. This is the main actor, right? This is this actor. And if you look inside of this actor, you know that this is where the widget component is, a 3D widget. So this is the guy that we want to look for. There's only one M3 main game per level, so this uh, index 0 is perfectly fine. Now we need to get the user object. So get uh, user widget object score and ref. And now we need to cast score hand score end and then we're going to be able to set type A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, they're all going to be adding. Okay, we're all going to add one. One, 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 one. And we're going to add that to get type. Let's see, get type A. Okay, so 
so this isn't too too bad because I've only got five but um, I don't know if you're if you're using more game pieces or if you want to use maybe a quicker workflow well for five it's probably not quicker but using areas could potentially be faster um, but not necessarily you still have to set each area element type um, okay so from here from here we want to look so again we're gonna have to have five of these guys and equal integer and if it's one range Okay, so this should work. So basically it goes in and it's going to check, am I type 1? If so, then add... Oh, I put it in the wrong one here too. Well, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Um, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so it's going to check, am I type 1? If so, true, then add 1 to your my widget. Um, and I know that this is going to be the end of the line because one game piece cannot be more than one type so it goes true that's it that's over otherwise if it's false false check for the next one am I this one am I this one am I this one so inevitably it's gonna at least get one of those because yeah it's part it's one of those um, you could make this look a bit neater somehow um, but this is gonna work so save, save, compile and save. Now we're going to plug it in. Um, send game piece. Enter when it's finished. So when it's shrunk down and it disappeared, we're going to update this. So there we go. Three, three. That's what I got. Um, and you know you didn't see it go one two three it instantly happen because you know it goes really fast and there's not a whole bunch of numbers let's try to get more bigger numbers see everything changes pretty pretty well and um, from there it's really easy to well okay I want to say well to win this level I want my player to um, have thirty of the green ones or I don't know twenty of this one y you know and you could set a victory condition um, towards this and the victory victory condition is probably something that I will do I mean I didn't create this mechanic for no reason it's gonna be part of the gameplay okay this wraps it up for this video hopefully it was helpful and I'll see you in the next video alright bye